there are two reasons that I will often recommend a client create a Nevis LLC at the same time that they set up a Cook Islands Trust. The first reason is control. When you create a Nevis LLC, you can serve as the manager of that LLC. So the owner remains the Cook Islands Trust so that everything within the Nevis LLC is backed by the protection of the Cook Islands Trust, but you, the client, can be the manager of that Nevis LLC, giving you signing power over any bank accounts that you have and direct control over any assets within the Nevis LLC. The second benefit of the Nevis LLC is that it gives our clients what is referred to as charging order protection. This means that if a client gets sued and somebody puts a lien up against that Nevis LLC, the individual holding that lien is not able to reach in and take assets out of the LLC. They can merely wait for a distribution. So we'll have the client withhold distributions. Then each year that that LLC, value, LLC grows in value, the individual holding that charging order has to pay taxes on the growth in that LLC, even though they're not getting distributions. In addition, the individual managing the LLC, you the client, can pay yourself a salary. Also, in Nevis, after three years, a charging order expires. Plaintiff attorneys, they do not want to get paid in charging orders. They want to get paid in cash. And if you can tell somebody suing you that you can delay paying them potentially indefinitely, they're going to be at least willing to entertain the settlement offer that you present to them. And of course, Nevis is also a defendant-friendly jurisdiction like the Cook Islands. You have to post a bond in Nevis of around $100,000 to bring a case. You have to prove your case beyond a reasonable doubt. It's a very difficult place to litigate. I will add that this strategy works very well pre-litigation. It also works somewhat during litigation, but once it gets to the point where it looks like a client might get a judgment against them, we want to have the client removed as manager of the LLC. At that time, let the trustee step in and take control of the LLC. That way, the court does not have the ability to order the manager, you, the client, to hand over any assets held within the structure. You still get to keep the charging order protection. Again, everything is protected by the Cook Islands Trust.